In this problem, we have to evaluate this indefinite integral. So it looks like we might have to try to complete the square. Because if you just let u be this bottom piece here, your du is going to have an x in it, and there's no x upstairs. So let's start by trying to complete the square. So we have 3 minus 4x minus x squared. So let's rewrite this. Uh, let's put the highest uh, order term first. So negative x squared minus 4x plus 3, the highest degree term, rather. Let's put that first. And before you complete the square here, what you have to do is you have to make sure that the coefficient of x squared is 1. So we're going to pull out a negative 1 and write it like this. Negative x squared plus 4x. Right, because if you distribute the negative, they both become negative. Okay, so now we're going to complete the square. So basically, we're going to take this number here, the 4, and divide it by 2. So 4 over 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So you put a 4 here, and then you close your parentheses. Again, 4 over 2 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So, boom. And then we still have the plus 3. Now, obviously, this is not correct, right? We've added something here. You might say, oh, you have to take away a 4 because you put a 4 there. That would actually be wrong. See, we didn't put a 4 here. We really put a negative 4 here. You see, negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. So we have to add a 4 to make it go away, right? Because negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So this is negative. This factors, it's x. You keep the sign. And then you just divide the 4 by 2 every time, right? It's completing the square. So you always just keep the sign and then divide this number by 2, and you put a parenthesis in it too. You just memorize it. And then 3 plus 4 is 7. So this is 7 minus x plus 2 quantity squared. So uh, a little bit of work there. So let's rewrite this. This is the integral of 1 over the square root of... I'm going to write it as 7 minus x plus 2 squared dx. I was going to skip a step, but decided not to. Okay, so there is a formula we're going to use in this problem. It's this one. If you have dx over the square root of a squared minus x squared, this is arc sine of x over a. Handwriting is getting bad. <laughs> Our arc sine of x over a. There we go. Um, so you see the a, let me rewrite this in a nice way, is going to be the square root of 7 because we can write it like this. We can do square root of 7 squared minus x plus 2 squared dx. So you see your a will be the square root of 7. The only thing left to do here maybe uh, would be to make a u substitution. So we'll go ahead and let u be equal to x plus 2. So then du is just going to be dx. And this will become 1 over the square root of, then we have the square root of 7 squared minus u squared, right? Because your u is x plus 2, and then du. And we're finally there. We're at a position where we can use our super powerful formula. So this is equal to arc sine of u over the square root of 7, but u is just x plus 2, so I'll just put x plus 2, over the square root of 7 plus c. You, can, you might be thinking, why did he even make a u sub? I mean, you just could have gone from here to here. You can, right? You can skip that step. Just be careful. Like, um, if it was like u equals 3x plus 2, then that would cause a constant to come out here. So um, you can skip steps, but I really think it's just better. It's better not to. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Take care.